A new opponent? I wonder who it could be. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. As you can see, old Cinnamon, my boy Canelo Alvarez, has a new opponent that could be emerging, you know, in the near future, you know, because it's been looking pretty, pretty barren at the 168 pound division for, for him as far as opposition goes, because a lot of guys that are top guys, he either beat before or they wouldn't garner too much interest. You know, like Caleb Plant, who just recently, you know, he just recently acquired an intern belt at the WBA, which puts him in, you know, in line for another challenge another shot another crack at old cinnamon you know because last time they fought you know it ended with cinnamon beating uh caleb plant with his only stoppage loss you know in the 11th round via tko damn i'm sorry and um you know now we have another opponent that is emerging and we ain't talking about chris eubank you know what i'm saying over there with our uk brethren the sister and you know not the bruv we talking about somebody in america somebody that we heard some you know some talks about before in the past and that dude is a guy who we seen his brother challenge and was unsuccessful what you getting at with the book script spit that shit out man it is none other than Jamal Charla. As you can see by the WBA rankings, he has newly, <laughs> recently been placed into the rankings at number five, which is crazy because last time we seen him fight was around this time last year in November when he took on the smaller Jose Benavidez Jr. And then prior to that, he was... I believe he was inactive, not even I believe, I know he was inactive for about two and a half years, you know, uh, he had a nice little hiatus, nice little time break, because, you know, of course, he's dealing with some things with that, we, we salute him and wish him the best, of course, man, any responsible, decent human being who would wish anybody that's going through the, some mental health issues the best uh, and, and a swift recovery and a successful recovery, but Jamal Charles is just a little, just a little weird to have him included into the rankings all of a sudden, but it kind of makes sense if, you, if you've been paying attention to this channel, because we keep you up to date on the news you know jamal charlo was supposedly uh, uh going to fight uh thomas cornflake lamana on the undercard of javante tank davis versus lamont roach which was originally initially scheduled for december 14th 2024 now that has been postponed so i think the the, the logical assumption right is to is to uh, uh, uh assume that he versus Lamana would still carry on just at a new and later date, which is proposed as, you know, or, you know, it's anticipated to be in January, you know, primarily and possibly coupled with, um, David Benavides for Dave Morrell. But the facts and the details have not been ironed out yet. Nothing has been finalized or situated, but that's just what the word on the street is, you know? So, um, so potentially Jamal Charlo could move his date against Charles, uh, Charles Thomas Cornflake Lamana to the same date, you know, it's still remaining on the undercard of uh, Javante Tank Davis and Lamont Roach in January. We'll see how that goes. But if he is, you know, then it kind of makes sense that he'll be uh, back inserted back into the rankings, you know, as a possible opponent for Canelo Alvarez, you know, who likes to fight on May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. And don't be surprised if Jamal Charlo comes out looking great, you know, that Canelo may, you know, seek his services and give him the opportunity to, 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 to have a good fight and the fight that he's been wanting in the past and the fight that he deserved at one time i don't know if he deserves it right now if you want to say it like that but he's still a viable opponent because like i said another highly ranked guy jaime Munguia, cinnamon already beat a guy that we want to see him fight the most you know david benavidez and david morrell they're fighting each other and they're at light heavyweight you know the other guys who are also deserving of the of the canelo challenge the canelo sweepstakes but they're not as notable amongst the pop the boxing public are uh christian and billy who's a number one ranked opponent in two divisions and diego pacheco who's number one ranked opponent in uh one division the wbo you know and, and like i said christian and billy was wba and wbc number one number one ranked opponent and another guy of course who could be up for consideration is william skull because he has the belt at ibf but it would seem kind of you know um it was seemed like kind of a waste of time. I mean, it's not. It's never a waste of time to reacquire undisputed. But because he didn't fight him when he had, it, because he chose to vacate the IBF belt and let Vladimir Shishkin and William Skull fight for it, it would kind of seem, you know, somewhat contradictory to go back and fight him now. But it will make more sense because he is a belt holder. So um, I would prefer for him to fight, you know, 
probably Jamal Charlo if Jamal Charlo comes back and looks sensational against Thomas Cornflake Lamana, who's a live dog in any fight that he's in, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Do you like this possibility of Jamal Charlo potentially uh big Charlo, you know, the hitman potentially fighting old cinnamon? I think it's a good fight, but you know me, man. Cinnamon is one of my favorite fighters, so I think cinnamon would win that. Bow, 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 bow. Uh -huh. Uh, on Jamal Charlo's best day, but it's still a good fight. You know, those people that say that, oh, well, I don't want to see him fight Jamal Charlo because we already see what he did to Jamal Charlo. Well, that's stupid. That's like saying that you don't want to see two guys fight Vladimir Klitschko or you don't want to see a guy fight Vladimir Klitschko and Vitaly Klitschko because they're brothers. You dumbass. They don't fight the same. Jamel Charlo is is a smaller Charlo, and Jamal Charlo is called Big Charlo for a reason because he's bigger. You know what I'm saying? No, did he? And, and just because they're brothers, don't mean they fight the same. I mean, did when Canelo beat Miguel Cotto, was that a waste of time because he beat Jose Cotto before because they're brothers? You know what I'm saying? And then he beat uh, uh, two Smiths as well, the most recently being Callum Smith. Were they the same because they're brothers? So that whole notion is kind of very, it, not even kind of, it's very sur surface level thinking, very very elementary level thinking. And, and and to be frank, it's somewhat ignorant. So I think that this fight would be good. I don't mean that you have to like the fight between Canelo and Jamal Charlo. I'm just saying, but just to say, just to summarize it and dismiss it as, oh, well, it's just Jamal Charlo will lose because his little, his, his, his twin brother, who's a smaller brother, lost to Canelo. That's kind of, that's, that's nonsensical in my opinion but uh yeah I, I think that this fight considering his options right now or lack of options unless he's gonna go up there and, and challenge Baturbia, which I would recommend for the undisputed light heavyweight then I, I, want, I don't see a problem with Jamal Charles just when you consider the current landscape of the 168 pound division like I think the best opposition for him right now that makes the most sense is is, is Caleb Plant he already beat him, you know, and then um, Jamal Charlo, who, you know, a lot of people want to see that fight. However, too, there's another option. Jamal Charlo could look good against Thomas Lamana, and then we can have the much anticipated fight between him and Caleb Plant for the interim belt and if Jamal Charlo wins then it'll even make even more sense for him to get his opportunity for the WBA full belt against Canelo or if Caleb Plant beats Jamal Charlo then that boosts his stock up too in his profile and that would make people you know want to see that rematch again you know because it was a pretty good fight up until it wasn't when Caleb Plant got stopped man so I appreciate y'all rocking me as always let me know what y'all think about that this new challenger emerging and uh, yeah man don't forget to like the video but most importantly remember with God we can do anything without God we're nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.